This video tells you how to change the directory that Stata is using when you run an analysis. By the end of this video, you should understand the concept of a working directory and know how to change Stata's working directory. Your computer has tens, if not hundreds, of folders, and Stata doesn't know where to look for your data when it first loads up. The working directory is the directory that contains the data that you want Stata to analyze and is also the place where Stata will write its output. To change Stata's working directory, use the cd command. The syntax is cd space quotation mark and then the path of the directory close quotation marks. I give a concrete example here. To change Stata's directory to the place where you're storing your data, you first need the directory address. Go to your data file, the one you want to work with. At the top of the Explorer screen, there's an address bar. Click on it, right click, and press copy. When you click at the top of the address bar, it gives you the directory name. It usually starts with a letter, a colon, and a slash separated by a bunch of folder names. I've copied that and I'm ready to go to Stata. I click on the command window and type in CD space open quotation marks right click paste quotation mark and press enter. If I did it correctly Stata will simply list the drive or rather the folder that I'm moving to. If I make a mistake however I'll get an error message. Let's review. You must tell Stata where to find data and write its output files. The directory Stata is using to do these things is called its working directory. To change Stata's working directory, use the cd command, cd space quotation mark and the directory path close quotation mark. For more information, please visit my website josephncohen.org.